broadcasting from Studio 300, you're watching Holly Playbook. Welcome to this week's edition of Poly Playbook, where we recap and preview Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Hannah Edwards. And I'm Allison Edmonds. This week we recap football spring scrimmage and talk to senior left fielder Zach Zayner. But first, we'll preview Cal Poly baseball as they look to finish the season strong. The Mustangs were able to pick up a W in their midweek matchup against San Jose State. Freshman right-hander Jared Zill pitched six solid innings and picked up his third win of the season. Second baseman Mark Mathias and left fielder Zach Zayner provided the key sparks offensively as Cal Poly went on to win 5-1. The Mustangs are now 22 and 23 overall this season, going into the last three series, all of which are against Big West conference rivals. Middle of the pack with uh, the rest of these guys. Irvine's at the top right now, so you know, two out of three or maybe a sweep would definitely put us in a good spot to you know win league. The first three-game series is May 8th through the 10th against first place UC Irvine at Ant Eater Ballpark, with Game One starting at 6:30 p.m. After being swept at home, the Cal Poly softball team will now close their season with the series on the road at UC Riverside. The team has fallen on bad luck as of late as they are riding a seven game losing streak. During that streak, the team has had just one loss come by more than three runs. The team will continue to depend on sophomore pitcher Sierra Highland, who has compiled 245 innings pitched with an impressive 2.31 earned run average. The Cal Poly baseball team has had a lot of late inning offensive sparks recently, and senior left fielder Zach Zayner has been a major contributor. I caught up with Zach earlier this week. With 39 runs batted in, eight home runs, and a batting average just over 300, senior outfielder Zach Zayner is making a lasting mark on the Cal Poly baseball team. It is both his second and last season as a Mustang, but he has had many baseball experiences that have led him to where he is today. I played in high school. I went to a junior college, Santa Barbara City College, and played there for three years. And, you know, uh, I loved it there. And I had the opportunity to come here, and I visited once, and I fell in love with this place. And, you know, other than Santa Barbara, this is probably the best place in the world. After getting drafted in the seventh round of the MLB draft for the Toronto Blue Jays in 2014, Zach decided to stay at Cal Poly and finish out his college baseball career. It's been unreal. You know, I got drafted last year, but I love it here so much I had to come back for another year. Um, the guys on the team are great. They're my best friends, and I didn't want to give that up yet. Coming off of the Big West Conference Championship last year, the Mustangs didn't start off as well as hoped. But with being such a young team, they have started to come into their own. Um, we've grown a lot. I mean, we're a very, very young team. We lost a, a lot of big key parts, a lot of team leaders from last year. So I think we've learned a lot. We've grown a lot as individuals and as a team. And I think, you know, um, with more time, we'll just get better. They are now going into their last nine games of the season against Big West Conference rivals, sitting at only a game below 500 and still having a shot at the postseason. Uh, we're right in the middle of the pack with uh, the rest of these guys. Irvine's at the top right now. So, you know, two out of three or maybe a sweep would definitely put us in a good spot to, you know, win league. Fans, join us when baseball returns. Back in the rest of the Cal Poly baseball team in their three-game series against UC Irvine, starting on Friday, May 8th at 6.30 p.m. Cal Poly fans were treated to a spring football game with sunny skies this week. The offense was pitted against the defense, and the game finished with the offense coming out ahead 27 to 25. Josh Gillen and Sergeant First Class, Ramon. Despite scoring zero touchdowns, the offense have compiled 381 yards and 21 first downs in the game. The offense was without senior quarterback Chris Brown and Dano Graves. Sophomore Kai Ross and junior Andrew Barnia took the reins in their absence. Play fast, but I want to see us be able to finish drives and get off the field when they need to get off the field. And I think that's a challenge they'll have all the time. Defensive standouts in the game include, include junior tackle Tyler Asley, who had eight stops, and the linebacker duo made up of sophomore Grant Alton and senior Burton Day Koning, who each had six tackles. This marks the end of the week four and four week 15 practice spring schedule for the team and they will resume practices in the fall. Well that's well that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in next Friday. And log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. Have a great weekend.